Hello everyone, today is going to be epic because I've decided to get the petrol bike out again and to make it more exciting we're going to fit some new forks to it. Look at this. We've got the Fox 40s here. They're going to go on like an absolute dream. Then we can shred this motocross bicycle to the limits today and just have as much fun as possible. So let's start off by getting off some of this stuff and uh, try and get these forks fitted. Drop this quick release wheel out. And we'll start off by getting the throttle off. Slide that out. Take off the old brakes. Ah. Okay, we're getting somewhere now. See if we can take all this off then. Cool, easy. If in doubt, brick it out. Boom, boom, we've got off the zoom. These old school A headsets have these like strange way of working. I've got to try and get that off. Wow, there we go. Yay, there we go, cool. So you've got them forks off. Now it's the moment of truth. Will these bad boys fit? Oh my gloves, man. Look, that is so good. That actually does fit absolutely perfectly bit of play there but that would be expected off such a machine and then you just sort of whack that on well that's persuaded on nicely oh my god that's sick this is gonna be the best day ever created oh my god right i just gotta put a stem on then a stem on hey here's some bars that will fit on there Ready for a sort of shreddy. I'm so excited to hit this thing. Actually, I don't know if I want to hit it. I think I just want to shred it. But yeah, there we go. Forks are on. Now we've got to just sort of fix this spaghetti junction here. Make that work on there. Wheel on. Actually, just so much stuff. But right, let's get this spaghetti junction fixed now. So these bars come with pink pill grips, which is very cool. Just got to take them off though for now, so I can put on all that stuff. Yeah, that's actually made for that bike. After a little bit of moving around and stuff, I now have the back brake, the clutch, and the throttle on. Just putting that grip on for now. We need to get a different front brake, so obviously we've got full suspension forks on here now, so I've got to get a Magura for this. Uh, I'm now going to change the cranks though actually, and just put some sicker ones on there and make it single speed, so let's get that on right now. These are the cranks I'm going to put on then. Look, they're like this petrol colour thing. It's kind of going to match the frame and the grips, which is well sick. So I've just got to grab this off. I'm just going to magic it on because actually it's quite boring to do mechanics. So here we go. Whoa, look at that. So we've got these cool cranks on now. This bike is looking in, whoa, single speed as well. That all worked so magically and well. We got the classic front wheel for all these crazy builds. It is an obsolete Halo 4XR rim, which I've had for years and years, but it's still holding up very well. So we'll get this put on and then we can get the front brake on. So glovish and dreamy that one. If in doubt, dream it out. Right, I've just got that brake fitted on. We've got a nice Magura on there for some ultimate stopping power. This bike is ready for a test ride. So let's drop some music and get out of here. This thing is sick. Look how cool it's looking. Let's go and shred it on something proper. Yay! We've now just arrived in a local woods that we actually did a two hours to build and ride in. And part of the trail is kind of still here. I mean, it's very overgrown. So I've just been like smashing some of it away with my feet 
so you can see like the rough outlines but I'm just going to smash a little lap down on the petrol bike and then re-cut in the lines of this little trail. I think it will be well good fun. So uh, I'm just going to do a little uh, walk through, check there's no branches and then we can give it a little shreddy. See, look at that, perfect to ride in. Most of the trail's pretty good actually. A uh, bit soft on the old takeoff here. Then you just blast down in front of the sheep and there's one final berm that should be well fun on the petty bike so let's get a lap here we go then drop him Wow, them sheep, look at them. They're not too into my uh, petrol biking. Oh, they're coming this way. This is really cool, but super hard to ride with the clutch like that. Look, that's the clutch. So when you let go, it engages the power. So it's just super weird. So if you brake too much, it just slides, it like stops the engine, which stalls it. But that worked out pretty good. It's not the best trail for this thing, but uh, let's get out of here, see what else we can find, Louis. So now we've come to the local woods where there's a few jumps and things. There's a pretty big step up for this bike. On a normal one, it's like super chill, but coming in now with the throttle and the fact that it might snap is kind of scary. So let's just hit it and see what happens. Oh my god! <laughs> that worked pretty good actually. I got messed up then because the brake and the clutch is like in the same place, like I said. I don't know which thing to pull and then I just grabbed the front and almost crashed. That worked really well. Let's no hander it. Oh no. The seat's kind of far back, but I'm gonna get the suey now. Wow, I felt that it was like not working down the run up then, so oh, it's really annoying because all, all the reason it was because of that being just up a little bit. That's perfect. Couldn't be a better sort of ending to that section really, could it? <laughs> that is the best, I haven't snapped a bike. I haven't snapped a bike like that ever, I think. This is the first snapper. <laughs> Look at it, poor thing. We'll have to take that motor off and put it on something else now. Look at it's bent. Look there, there. Fully buttered there. Wow. Cool. Good show for these guys, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> it is now the next day, and I'm super upset that my little petrol bike of dreams was destroyed because I did actually do a no-hander but the battery died on the camera therefore deleting the clip and I had to do it again and then the bike snapped but I am still craving some throttle twisting so I've got out another one of my machines to get twisting throttle on
so glad I'm not a 125. <laughs> this poor thing's neck was just ringed then so hard. Didn't even move. <laughs> oh, dreams. Let's see if I can wheelie along here then, you know. Get that front wheel up. It's probably the best wheeling on a bike you can get. Oh, slip. <laughs> So fun just making noise everywhere you go. Yeah. I think I'm gonna go on the 110. Less scary for wheelies. Way easier to wheelie, look. Oh yes! Well good! I've just seen a mound over there that might be like trickable. We might be able to like kick a little lip into it. That could be well fun. If I kicked that in a bit there, you could probably hip, but actually not on the pity, it's too horrible. I could do it on the other bike though. Get a tiny bit of like tweakage. Okay, let's make Axel Hodges proud then. I want to land into that bit there, look. Like it's the smallest landing ever. I just about cleared this sketchy table we just made. The run out is horrible. <laughs> look at that fence there. Uh, we're gonna get a slow-mo from underneath. It might look like I'm somewhat good on a moto. Yeah! Cool, pretty soaked on that. The little slow motion sort of hanging on for dear life. If only that fence weren't there, that would be such a perfect table. But it is, and we made the best of the most random mound of dirt ever. Let's see. Let's see what else we're gonna hit now on this beast. We were gonna continue the fun down there, but we kind of politely got asked to leave. And it's not exactly a spot that you can really just session all day. So that's unfortunate. We're gonna go and clean these now. We've now arrived at the pressure wash. That's actually the thing I hate most about motorbikes, is that every session requires a clean, whereas a bike you can leave dirty like for the whole year and you don't have to wash it. But these just get so covered. It's just like, you know, the downsides of moto. Just doing this though has made me so over motorbikes. <laughs> Such a mission when you could just get out an e-bike and have the time of your life out the front door. Just lean this up. Well, I've got two quid. Hopefully we can get them both relatively clean with that. Quick. There we go. Well, that will do then. Nice bit of cleaning. Two quid, got both the bikes done. If you guys want to see some more moto action, definitely let me know. But on that bombshell, that is the end of the video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. That'd be awesome if you leave some comments. And be sick if you subscribe. See you in the next one. Just go. <laughs>